Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about Ethereum and their up and coming hard fork on December 4th uh, called Istanbul. Okay, that's going to happen in about less than a month from now. And also, I'm going to talk about ProgPow and giving you my reasons why we should move to it and also some dates, hopefully, when that should happen. Okay. So first off, I'm just going to go real quick on the Istanbul hard fork here. Uh, there's nothing mining related, okay, that's happening on December 4th, okay? Uh, but there are a lot of, like, fixes and upgrades that will be implemented uh, on December 4th that should make the network for Ethereum more secure and efficient, per se. Uh, I know this is a mining channel, so I'm not going to go through all the, you know, the security updates and updates, upgrades that they're doing, okay? So... I know you guys that watch me only care about the uh, the mining aspect of it. I mean, so so do I. So this was just an article on decrypt.co, and I want to thank one of my mods named Khaled for bringing this info to me. I didn't even know. Uh, I, I knew that Ethereum was going to hard fork soon, but I didn't know that they had a set date. So it's now December 4th, okay, for the first part of the, uh, of the Istanbul. Now, I know that... The second part, there's going to be another hard fork called Berlin, okay, uh, which I'll talk about later in the video. So the one of the Ethereum developers named Peter, I'm not going to say his last, I can't say his last name. It's very hard to pronounce. Uh, basically, it's called Quad Kicker, uh, enabling Istanbul hard fork Ethereum mainnet block one million sixty nine thousand, uh, targeted for the fourth of December. Okay, so this is where the I guess the date came from, from this guy. And among others, we've shipped ETH slash 64, a faster EVM, uh, hashtag Golang 1.13.4 on all PPAs and almost done with DNS discovery. Okay, so I don't really know much about this last part here. Now, I want to talk about ProgPow. Now, this is something that I believe a lot of us are waiting for. I did do a poll on Ethereum Classic, I think a couple of days ago. And a lot of you guys actually want to stay with the status quo, with ETHash, uh, which was interesting. Um, but I want to I give you my reasons here why I think we should go to ProgPow. And it's, 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 not, it's not as complicated as anyone would think. I mean, there's probably other stuff that people will talk about, like, I don't know, economics of a coin, hash rate, security, uh, network security, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know... My, my biggest reasoning for for just moving to ProgPow is I would like to just, you know, get, uh, just render the existing ASICs just useless, right? Ethereum was always, Ethereum has always talked about be, being ASIC resistant, right? But with ProgPow, I guess it kind of, it's supposed to uh, level the playing ground with all hardware. It's supposed to, it's supposed to, it's designed to close the efficiency gap available to specialized ASICs, okay? Uh, but mainly, you know, I, I've talked about before, uh, if you guys heard of Lindsay, uh, Lindsay.io, they are a, I guess, a ASIC manufacturer that made the 1400 uh, mega hash, 1400 mega hash at 1000 watts. Okay, so that's about, I believe, seven or 10 times uh, more efficient than like a regular 180 mega hash RX 570, 580 rig or something. And as well, there is the Inosilicon A10 ETH miner, which is already out, and people already have and are mining with. Um, funny thing here, it says words, best ETH miner, 2.5x better than competition, available to order now. I like this worlds, it's supposed to say worlds, not words, good old Inosilicon here. But, you know, I, I don't, I'm not really sure how many of these are on the network, and I've been looking at the Ethereum network hash rate, and the Ethereum Classic network hash rate, and it it actually has been going it's been going down for the past month, uh, since I think the end of September roughly uh, till now, and I believe that's due to you know a lot of residential miners uh, shutting down because you know uh, profitability, Bitcoin dominance, all that kind of stuff, all relate all related uh, in terms of uh, uh, just the profitability that uh, people are turning off because it's just not profitable to mine. Um, to mine anymore, depending on your electrical costs. Uh, but you know, I I'm not sure. I'm I'm really not sure when this Inosilicon A10 came out. 
Uh, maybe some of you guys could let me know down below if you guys knew when this came out. Uh, but it could be apparent that the hash rate has been slowly rising quite a bit as maybe Silicon could be, you know, rolling these out. Or Lindsay.io rolling out their uh, 1400 mega hash miner. But they did say they only ordered about 37 wafers, which equates to about 300 giga hash. Okay, so 300 giga hash really wouldn't dent that much of the network hash rate. Uh, so right now the network hash rate is about 183,000 giga hash. So 300 giga hash is really not much compared to 183,000 giga hash right now on the network as you guys can see the hash rate numbers uh, right here okay so yeah just these two mainly I just want to you know I want to see what's gonna happen when prog is implemented and I'm just curious to see uh, all of the you know uh, also the bitmain at miner e3s I believe the e3 the, the eth hash miner I mean that's it's basically the same efficiency almost as a GPU mining rig uh, but yeah, I would like to know how many of those are on the network and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, they've Ethereum and Ethereum Classic have always stated... Uh, actually, I'm not sure if Ethereum Classic has stated ASIC resistance. But, you know, ASIC resistance, uh, GPU mining, network uh, security, all that kind of stuff. All those kind of arguments have been mentioned before. I don't think I need to say it again, but... Yeah, there, there are people, you know, wanting to go the... ASIC slash FPGA route, which is, you know, that, that's up to the developers, uh, which I believe Ethereum Classic is going to be talking about real soon. But Ethereum has not talked about, you know, moving towards an ASIC algorithm. Uh, but ETC, ETC definitely has uh, for SHA, they want to move to SHA 3 possibly. But with Ethereum, the talk is already, I believe, accepted for ProgPow, which is supposed to happen. In the Berlin hard fork of scheduled, apparently, this is on ambcrypto.com. They said they scheduled the Berlin hard fork for June 2020. Okay, there are the other article here from decrypt.co that mentioned that it'll happen on the first quarter of 2020. Okay, so I don't know what to believe, but you know, judging by the roadmaps here on eth.wiki, uh, they haven't. It's it still says to be an, to be announced the uh, the date. Uh, still hasn't mentioned it here for Berlin, uh, but you know, looking at the Berlin uh, hard fork here on uh, the roadmap. So Prague Power EIP-1057, uh, a pragmatic proof of work. This is the, uh, I guess they haven't audit, audit they haven't uh, updated this, but it's 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 under the uh, proposed uh, EIPs here. So. Uh, I'm assuming that it's going to be, it is accepted for the Berlin hard fork, which is supposed to happen after Istanbul. Okay, so after the December 4th uh, Istanbul, the second part of Berlin will happen. Okay, so uh, mentions here, first update Istanbul will take place later this year. And the second, dubbed Berlin, will sometime in the first quarter of 2020. But on ambcrypto.com, they said uh, June 2020. So I'm assuming that's the second quarter yeah second or third quarter so yeah pretty cool i uh you know i'm for prog pow i don't know what you guys think the ethereum hash rate you know it obviously hasn't gone up that much but uh, i would just like to see all the asics off and see what the network hash rate would be after i'm always curious about that and of course we're always i'm waiting for monero as well the end of the month to see what's going to happen once random x is implemented so I will keep you guys updated on all that kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update of what's happening with Ethereum, because I know a lot of you guys are, you know, pretty, uh, pretty invested in Ethereum mining, and uh, I always like to make and talk about Ethereum, as it is the second biggest coin on the whole coin market cap right now, so uh, the whole crypto cryptocurrency market, so this is something that a lot of people are invested in. There's a lot of miners, a lot of farms, a lot of people mining Ethereum at the moment. Uh, so all that good stuff. Man, just look at this huge rise back in 2018 when everybody and their dog was GPU mining Ethereum. And then it just crashed all the way down as the bear market came. Uh, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the Ethereum hard fork and ProgPow. I would like to know what you guys think about ProgPow and if it should be implemented or not. 
Uh, I know I, I love reading your guys' opinion. I take everyone's opinion straight to heart. I, I listen to everybody and uh, I try to be as humble as possible. We all understand each other and uh, every opinion matters in this space. So I'd like to know what you guys think. So hit the like button, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.